Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor here, bringing you a sick 64 and 2 domination gameplay on Interchange. This is actually my friend MG Rush or Logan, as you guys all know him by. He is actually playing in this game 64 and 2. That is ridiculous. He terrorizes this team. And as you know, Logan's my good friend, and his computer is not working right now. So even though he has a capture card, he can't put it on his computer and stuff and put it up for YouTube. So he's letting me put it up on my channel and I'll leave a link down to his YouTube below and make sure you go subscribe to him because he should be getting his computer fixed right around now and he will be, you be, uh, blah, 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 blah. he will be putting up sweet gameplay like this on a regular basis so make sure you go subscribe to him and guys now let's get into this it is written it is more about the it is written as about life problems or whatever you want to call them and how to get through them better ways to handle them and just talking about stuff like that guys and today we are talking about jealousy now what is jealousy jealousy is an emotion and it typically refers to the negative thoughts and feelings of insecurity fear and anxiety over an anticipated loss of something that the person values particularly in reference to a human connection jealousy often consists of a combination of presenting emotions such as anger sadness resentment and disgust but it is not to be confused with envy. Envy is more like, you're like, jealous. you're not jealous. <laughs> you're envious of how good someone is at something. Like, you might be envious of someone else that's better than you at basketball. You might be envious of Kobe Bryant, how rich he is and how good he is at basketball. You wish you were that good. You might be envious of C-Nanners and how awesome he is and how, how many subscribers he has on YouTube. Or you might be envious of someone else that's better than you at Call of Duty or better than you at anything, better than you at school. You're envious of them. You want to be like them. You want to do better. But you're not necessarily mad at them. You're not angry. You're you're not like, oh, I want to kill Kobe because he's better than me at basketball. You're not like that. But jealousy, jealousy is when you're angry, you're sad, you resent someone, and you're disgusted. It's a type of insecurity is the main thing. You're more insecure about yourself, about your qualities. You're like, oh, man, I'm not as good as this person, so my girlfriend is going to go, my girlfriend is going to like this guy more. She's been talking to him a little bit. And even though they might be just good friends, they might just be friends, and they're they don't like each other at all, you're thinking, oh, crap, he's better looking than me. Oh, crap, he's nicer than me. And then you start to get jealous of him. You start to get mad at him. You start to get mad at your girlfriend for talking to him. And this just, this just goes down a bad, bad road, guys. And so it's mostly about insecurity or the fear over losing someone. It refers to most of the time relationships about losing your girlfriend or boyfriend. You're mostly mad about that. Um, mad about losing or mad about someone they're talking to or something like that but one of the um and yeah as i said it's a lot about self or yeah, blah, 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 insecurity insecurity now what one way to get over this is to work on your self-esteem um build yourself up and not not so you're cocky not so you think you're better than everyone else but build yourself up so that um you're you know that you're good enough for this person and you know that you've got good qualities. You, to do this, you can make a list of all your good points. Make a list, write down all the stuff you're good at, all the things that you like about yourself and then compare yourself only to yourself. If you're having a day where you're like, oh, being a complete jerk to everyone, but then on your list or whatever, but you know that you're normally a nice person, don't compare yourself to how nice someone else is or how jerky someone else is. You're like, oh, they're even more of a jerk than I am, so who cares, I can do whatever. I since I'm not that jerky, it doesn't matter if I'm just being a little bit of a jerk. No, compare yourself to yourself. So if you know you're normally a really, really nice person and you're being a jerk today, compare yourself to that and be, oh, crap, I'm not doing good today. Today is not a good day for me. I need to step up on the niceness factor. Get out there, make some new friends, something like that, guys. Now, jealousy, get this. Jealousy is the largest, largest factor in breakups and it comes about the insecurity of the jealous person as I said insecurity again guys the largest factor of breakups and now if you are jealous to get over this you need to communicate you need to stop assuming the worst and ask questions communicate your feelings so that you can work out some solutions so communication 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 first off you're insecure about yourself you need to work on that now communicate and don't make stop assuming the worst because when we're jealous we're always like Oh crap, my girlfriend's probably secretly really, really likes him and wants to go out with him instead of me. Or maybe they are going out or doing stuff and I don't know about it. And you're just like, you're always assuming the worst. And now, now that you're assuming that, now you're making yourself mad. You're like, oh my goodness, I want to kill this dude. This dude is not good, not good. And what you need to do is you need to communicate. Just sit down and be like, 
So you seem to be spending a lot of time with this is if you're guys talking to your girlfriend you can be like you seem to be spending a lot of time with Randy or something like that. And you're like, are you do you like him at all or anything? Now she might get mad, but you need to word this in the right way. But for the most part she'll be like, Oh my gosh, no, I love you only. Something like that. <laughs> That's the ideal workout situation. So something like that. You need to communicate. Or maybe she'll get all defensive. And when she gets all defensive, that's normally a problem. Normally might need to end it there. But now if you're communicate about it, you can fix it easily. If she goes, oh my gosh, no, I'm sorry. We're just good friends. We're just best friends. We talk about stuff. We're um, just friends. We're nothing more than friends. Never will be anything more than friends. I only like you. And there, bam problem solved you don't need to be insecure anymore you're not jealous anymore because you know she's yours and she is only yours now you can also be on the other end you could be the guy with the best friend that's a girl and your girlfriend's jealous of you and you're noticing something little different about her you're noticing especially if you're around her you notice her getting a little bit mad she's getting that little that little pouty look on her face with her lips stuck out and um, now you need to go talk to her maybe because maybe she's not going to come talk to you and you need to be like hey something's wrong are you feeling are you feeling mad about me and uh, whatever, Michaela or something like that? Are you mad that I'm talking to her? Are you feeling, you seem to get a little angry when we're around her. And now she might open up to you and she may, might be like, well, you're talking to her all the time or whatever. Now you just need to reassure her, reassure her that she's the only one you got right now. You don't like this chick at all. She's just a good friend that's just your best friend that's a girl except besides a girlfriend of course because she's obviously your best friend and you don't like her at all she's your favorite person in the world and there's no one you'd rather be with than that chick at that time or than your girlfriend not that chick there's no one you'd rather be with than her and now bam relationship fixed over done done deal you did your job she did yours now you're back onto a dandy little happy relationship together no one's mad no one's jealous guys and no one's going to be breaking up because of jealousy which which is not a good thing. Now let's see what what's the Bible have to say about jealousy in James three sixteen. Not to be confused with John three sixteen, which everybody knows John three sixteen for the most part. But James three sixteen, he says, for where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder in every vile practice. Now vile is like evil, except it's just jumbled up in a different. It's V I L E instead of E V I L. Um, vile basically means evil practices. So where jealousy and selfish ambition, where you're just going after only what you want. E there will be disorder and evil practices. So where you're jealous and stuff, you will be, um, nothing good will come from jealousy, basically. That's pretty much what it's say saying. Um, nothing good will come from jealousy. Only evil will come from jealousy and only going after yourself. Think of others. Don't be jealous, guys, and you will live a good life. Now get this, get this. This is crazy. Wrath is cruel. Anger is overwhelming. But who can stand before jealousy? This is saying, yeah, wrath is bad. Anger is bad, but jealousy, who can stand before that? No one can stand before jealousy. No one can overcome jealousy. Jealousy is just up there. It's it's just awful, guys. Wrath is cruel. Wrath is bad, but you can overcome it. Anger is overwhelming, but you can overcome it. But who can stand before jealousy? That's Proverbs 27, 4, guys. No one can stand before jealousy. So get the jealousy out of your life, guys. Communicate with people and don't be insecure about yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a rate and a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this. And I'll see you guys later. Adios.